This is the future. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Warframe video. So today I will finally show you my graphics setting. If you want your game to look like what I am playing, then I will show you the settings I'm using for this game. A quick note before we start though, first of all, I am using an Intel processor with an Nvidia graphics card. So I'm really sorry if I can't help you with the AMD setting, but I think there are other counterpart in your AMD setting that matches my Nvidia setting. In addition, I am not running Warframe in the highest settings here as there are settings in the game that looks weird and makes the game like it vomits random colors. There are also settings that makes the game blurry and what I am aiming here is a clean look that is great not just while playing the game but also when making videos which I upload in YouTube. I have an RTX 2070 graphics card and a i7 Intel CPU. The 32 gigabytes RAM is probably overkill and not needed. 16 gigabytes would do and more than enough for my build. Lastly, I also have a M.2 which is just a West Blue 500 gigabytes wherein and I store my Warframe files. Honestly, the build I have is enough to run Warframe smoothly and I am getting a maximum of 90 frames per second in open world areas. And in star chart missions, I usually get 100 frames per second. This is because I am using a 1440p monitor right now with 144 hertz refresh rate so that I can upload 2K videos in YouTube. If I am using my old 1080p monitor, then I can reach a maximum of 100 frames per second in open world areas and 120 frames per second in star chart missions. Aside from the hardware I have, it really helps toning down some of the ugly settings in Warframe that is like a visual vomit and also doesn't add to the overall performance in the game. Like I have said, I am aiming for a crisp, detailed graphic setting in Warframe while not sacrificing performance too much in the game. And the first thing I did is to go to my NVIDIA control panel and change the following settings. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card too, then go to your NVIDIA control panel and then click the manage 3D setting. First thing you would need to do is enable image scaling in the global setting as we will be using this to sharpen Warframe's graphics to the optimal levels so the textures will look clean. By the way, what this setting does is stretch images, so if you are playing other games, then you might want to turn off this feature as you might not have the same result while playing Warframe. Next is you need to go to the program settings and select Warframe in the list. If it's not in the list, then go ahead and add it by simply searching the application on the folder you installed the game. Then, you would need to set your image scaling and sharpen it to around 10% or 20%. This is dependent though on how sharp you would want the image to look, but don't go overboard as it will look edgy and it will look awful in screen. For anisotropic filtering, I set it to the highest possible number if you also like sharp textures. There's an option like this in Warframes and game setting also, but I highly advise that you do the changes in the driver settings as it's way better compared to Warframes anisotropic filtering. For the anti-aliasing mode, set it to enhance the application setting since we are overriding the setting, and then set set the anti-aliasing setting to 8 times for the best visuals in Warframe. For anti-aliasing transparency, just set it to multi-sample as this setting only works in transparent textures, so there's no point even maximizing this setting as you won't see any visual difference. For the low latency mode, turn this setting off to get that nice smoothness in the overall frame rate while playing Warframe. This also helps your GPU last longer as it lessens the workload. For the max frame rate, it depends on how much refresh rate you have in your monitor. However, you won't get the same frame rate all the time as your refresh rate in Warframe. The highest I could get from a 144Hz monitor is 90 frames per second and I haven't limit my max frame rate on this yet. That is why instead of choosing the max frame rate of letting the system decides, I just set it to 90 frames per second. For the monitor technology, set it to G-Sync if you have it to help with latency but don't ever use V-Sync as it's one of the most horrible setting for Warframe. In terms of multi-frame sample, I have it turned on since I did change my anti-aliasing to 8 times. For power management, always go for optimal power. While in the preferred refresh rate, it would be the highest available. For texture filtering, always set this to clamp for better quality, and for the texture filtering quality, we also set this to high quality for better visuals. For threaded optimization, I turn this on since my system has multiple cores, and like I have said, don't ever use vertical sync in this game as it looks horrible. Now that's all the settings I have changed in my NVIDIA control panel. Once you are done, just hit apply and okay, then load Warframe and start changing the following settings. Once you are in the Warframe menu, go to options, then go to 
display. And the first thing you need to do here is change the graphics setting to enhanced as there are settings in this version that makes the game looks insanely good and it's not available in the older version of the engine. For max frame rate, it really doesn't matter if you pick the max setting available as this will follow the max frame rate you input in your driver setting. Now, a setting that you can't see in the display tab is the color blindness compensation, which adds insane visuals to the game. There are two choices in here, either pick the protonopia or the deuteranopia setting. The former enhances the visuals and gives some brightness to the colors, while the latter will give you great visuals also while somehow adding more contrast. Just set the color blind filter strength to 15 and you will see the big difference immediately. In my case, I am using the protopia most of the time as it's brighter and more suitable for recordings compared to the other option. Getting back to the display setting, turn the geometry quality, shadow quality, and the texture memory to the highest value. While disable the GPU particle quality as particles in this game really looks annoying and sometimes don't give you that clean look. While recording, those particles can turn your videos into exploding colors that hurts the eyes. If I can also turn of particle system quality, then I also would remove this option, but right now you can only set it to low settings. For anti-aliasing in the in-game setting, I have it at TA8 times with a sharpened percentage of 30 so I can get that crisp and clean look in Warframes, weapons, enemies, and other visuals in the game. Having this at the, the highest values depends also on your PC as this will affect performance. The most optimal is the medium setting where in the graphics also looks great and also helps the game in terms of performance. But if your system can handle it, then crank it to the highest value, but don't sharpen too much as it will destroy the textures. For anisotropic filtering, I have it in the highest, highest value, and I also turned on trilinear filtering. I also enabled dynamic lighting and volumetric lighting in the game, while the local reflections should be turned off at all costs. This is a nasty setting in Warframe, and the reflections will make your game look ugly, especially if you are recording a video. For the ambient occlusion, I set it to the highest value, and for the volumetric fog quality, it depends if you want to see those fog visual effects often seen in the whispers in the walls, Tyla set. Moving on, turn off motion blur, distortions, glare, and depth of field. Motion blur and depth of field makes your game blurry, especially while recording. While the distortions and glare don't help in the visual clarity either as they will cause unwanted effects in the game, making your game look like it's throwing random crayons in your screen. Um, for the bloom setting, I like to have a little bloom in my game and as well as see the elemental effects of weapons for color correction. I have it off as well as character shadow sun shadows, and enhanced decals. These are minor details in the game that you either want or not. In my case, it doesn't really make the visuals great as they are added features for the visuals, so I decided to just turn it off. And lastly, I have dynamic resolution turned off. Now, if you have the high definition output, then I highly advise that you try this out with at least 10 to 15% on the paper white, as this will greatly improve the visuals of the game. Without this setting, your Warframe game will look great with all the settings that I have recommended, but the high definition option will further boost it. Not only that it will look clean, detailed, and visually great overall, but it will add a vibrant look to the game. I don't have any drop in frame rate while this feature is on, but this will mess your video recordings though, as it will make your game capture look overexposed, even if you have the lowest paper white value. That is why I only use this option whenever I'm playing Warframe and not recording videos. Also, feature is dependent in your monitor if have high definition option, but like I have said, your game will look impressive without this setting. So that's all about it. Now try this setting and let me know how your game looks afterwards. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in my next video. Squad Leader signing off. This is the future.